you guys, I am Michael Simon. We are in my home kitchen at Cleveland, Ohio. I'm making a dish that kind of made Lola famous. This is a mac and cheese and it is a no bake mac and cheese. So we never put the pasta actually in the oven. We're gonna do it all stovetop. Uh, we're gonna start it on the 25,000 BTU burner to bring the cream up to a quick boil almost. And then as it starts reduce, reducing, we're gonna lower it back to the simmer burner. Now this is what I really love about the Blue Star range is you have complete control at all times. So I start it hot, I move it back, it's gonna to drop to a simmer, which is gonna give me the perfect consistency for my cream-based uh, pasta. The other thing that, we're, that I love about the range is that we have our panko breadcrumbs here on a full sheet tray, because I like toasting them in large bunches, and that's gonna go on top of our mac and cheese. I can put it on a full sheet tray. You know, this is what makes me crazy about other ovens and ranges. You, you get home, you're so used to being in the restaurant where you could put a full tray in the oven and you could fit like a cookie sheet in the oven. This is a full size sheet tray. I could put it underneath, set it on broil, get those golden brown breadcrumbs and then top the mac and cheese with it. So I have some rigatoni noodles going over here on the 25,000 BTU. So it's at that boil that's cooking the pasta perfect. Salt in the water, rigatoni's cooking. I'm now gonna turn my high burner up so the pan starts to get hot. We're gonna mix in chives with this at the end. So I'm gonna dice up my chives. Just give them a quick little cut. You don't want it to be super precise here, but whenever you're cutting something like this, you wanna just make sure that you're even. So if you start with big chunks, and with big chunks. If you start with a small dice, and with a small dice. So when you add it to the cream sauce, they all kinda of let out their flavor at the same time. So nice, consistent. So consistent knife skills, consistent heat, consistent. Are you seeing a theme here? There's a theme. Now I'm gonna take my heavy cream. This is a very light pasta. And I'm gonna add it to my pan. And because I'm over high heat here, this is gonna come up to a, a boil really quick. And I like it to get hot fast and then drop it down. Remember when you're putting cream in a, in a pan, give yourself a lot of room because as cream boils, it starts to rise up the pan and you don't want it all over your stove. So we put in a pretty hefty pinch of salt because cream has so much fat, it needs a good amount of salt. Some cracked black pepper. And now we just let the range do its magic. As this starts to get hot, I'm gonna take my breadcrumbs and I'm gonna put them underneath. Top shelf, look, the whole tray fits. I am one happy chef. Now look how quickly this starts to come up to a boil. Really fast, quick response. And whether I'm cooking at home or cooking in the restaurant, that's really the key. You need things to happen in an efficient manner. You can't put it on here, wait 15 minutes to a boil. It just doesn't work for me. People come over, they wanna eat, I need to feed them fast. Peeking on our breadcrumbs, they're starting to go. Cream is reducing nicely. Let's see how our pasta is. Now remember, when you're cooking pasta for a sauce like this, I wanna finish it in the sauce. So look at your packages. If the package says 10 minutes, you wanna cook it for eight or nine, so you could finish cooking it in the sauce. We seasoned our pasta water liberally with salt, so I could add a little bit of pasta water to the sauce to get the consistency of the sauce I'm looking for. This is really starting to come down nicely. Breadcrumbs are looking good. <laughs> Razzle dazzle! Take some of my chives, put them in my breadcrumbs. It goes over to here. Now, I'm gonna turn the back burner on so I'm at simmer. My cream is to a boil, and now I'm gonna start adding my cheeses. I'm gonna add mascarpone. I'm gonna add some cheddar. I'm gonna slide this to the back burner as soon as the cheese starts to melt, because if I stay at a full boil here, the cheese will actually break. So you want that really consistent low heat, which is 
what the simmer burners really give us. And it's that consistent even heat. If you don't want to break a sauce, if something's a little bit more delicate, if you don't want to redo something so quickly, you have that option. And then I don't have to play around with the burners. I turn around, I turn off the, the 25,000 burner, I move it back to the simmer, and the cheese just delicately melts here with that nice even heat. And you could see the sauce thickening up from the cheese and the reduction of the cream. I'm gonna take the remainder of my chives. I'm gonna add those in. Remember, it's a soft herb, add them at the end. I'm gonna cut the rest of these up too. Remember, have that nice little punchy spring onion flavor. And the no nice thing about this mac and cheese is because it comes together so quickly right on the stove top is I'm making this one just with chives. You could put in any fresh herb you want. Rosemary works great in this. Hard herbs work great. Tarragon would be good. If you wanted to take a roast chicken, add some pulled chicken to it, you could pulled pork. So you really have a lot of options. And when I'm cooking at home, you know, I, I, I want the options of different things I could add to a dish, and I want options of different things that I could do on a range. And that's why Blue Star's been so great for me. So the chives go in. See how that mascarpone is just barely starting to melt because we're over this nice, delicate simmer. My pasta should be perfect. I'm gonna shake off that excess liquid on the pasta. Go straight into our sauce. Now what I like to do here is take just a little bit of this delicious starchy pasta water. This is really a great trick for those at home. Great Italian cooks and chefs always use a little bit of that pasta water in their sauce because it gives you a little bit more uh, thickness and viscosity to the sauce because there's a starch that's released, gets your sauce to the right consistency. And remember, our pasta water is seasoned, which makes sure that our sauce is seasoned. I'm gonna take this and move it right off the heat. here. Then I'm going to take these breadcrumbs. And I love this because I have some that are a little on that nice golden side, some that are a little darker. These have cooled down. And we take our toasty breadcrumbs with those chives. And we just sprinkle them right on top. And what this gives us is that great mac and cheese topping, which I just love so much. The thing that I hate about a baked mac and cheese is I love the top, but then the underneath the pasta gets overcooked, it gets all congealed. This gives you that beautiful crunchy top that we love, but the pasta is cooked perfect and the sauce is perfect. So look at that. No bake mac and cheese. The longest part of this whole recipe is cooking the pasta for 10 minutes. The sauce comes together in under five. It's delicious, it's simple. The consistency of the range is what makes the whole thing come together. You're going to love this.